アドベンチャースウォンハンツマンナイフアイマスセイトビフォーディスドレッシングディスイズダビゲスカインドオブスタイルインジャパン300パウンドオーバーオーバー300 Let's compare with Bravo One. Adventure Swan Huntman. Hmm. Faster. Longer straight portion is useful to get this long backstrap. Huge. Skinning capacity. I'm touching the skin side, not to injure the hip bone, hip muscle. I'm sorry. A、ah, short wound here. Ah, short wound. Maybe no good. Okay. This is the great gluteus maximus muscle. Great gluteal muscle. So to say, outer hip.
Okay. Backstrap. I know. A2 uh, stands against this bone touching very well. But how about O1? Mm. No problem. What? No good. Maybe. I'll try. Oh, can be okay. Outer hip was wrong, however. Inner thigh. Uh, can be okay. Just a moment. I'll check it out. Removing the surface muscle. Yeah. Inner thigh. Looks great. Okay. I'm very happy now. The service is no good. However, inside muscle is completely intact. No problem. What? Partially wounded. However, I'll cut this line. Okay. Still sharp. Mm. I feel like this handle is too thick. Mm. Thinner. Rubber hundred is repairable. Hmm.
round. Mm. This shape is better in twisting or precise cutting. Mm. Stable in the hand. Mm. Too round. Okay. Hello, knife people. I gathered four pieces of bushcraft style full size knives. Some will say this is a survival knife. I say it's a hunting knife. Anyway, it's a versatile knife. Because of its generous berry, its toughness, its versatile handle, this handle is not completely fitting my hand. Kind of fitting, however, not completely. Very stable, and I can take any angle in the hand. Stable. In this twisty holding, this handle sitting there, my first wrinkle in my palm. So Twisting angle is very wide. It's a good backstrap remover. And of course, wood cutter or carver. Fist holding and batoning. Very dependable knife in 3V steel. It's a finished shape. Ultimate design, I believe, along with Park River, Fox River for hunting. This knife for multi tasks, versatile, dependable. Park River Bravo One. I'm a big fan of Park River Bravo One. No complaint at all. This is the CKC field knife. Very comfortable in the hand. A bit short handle compared to oh, the same length. I'm sorry. Mm. I felt this handle is short because this uh, tapering thinner to the bat. From the upside view, flat. So, this handle is very free positioning in the hand, like this. Extended holding and complete fist holding. No butt protrusion here. I love this tapering down, tapering thinner handle design very much. I don't hold uh, the handle like this, uh, rocking holding. I don't like it. I don't use it. Thumb on the spine or side holding as a hunter. So this handle is very preferable for me. And uh, handle feelingness, mm, thicker in this dimension, however thinner in this dimension. This palm swelling is pretty decent, but from the upside view, uh, flatter and uh, mm, totally thinner feeling in the hand. This is also stable in any angle holdings in the hand. Of course, sits in there, good twister.
ペレッテマガミナイ。Look at this ridiculously thick handle. Thickest handle in my collection. No contour. Sweating. Much thicker. Much thicker. And、uh, but protrusion here. Hand locking handle. Very strong feeling in this fist holding. Stable. But twisting is limited because this handle sits in the center of my palm here. So twisting is limited. It's not a hunting handle, but a genuine bushcraft handle, in my opinion. Very strong carving.、Mm. This slope was made by my YouTube friend Nebirax123 for me. It's good for side holding, but、mm, it's not a hunting knife, basically. And this knife, new knife, Adventure Swarm, new company for me. It was good in the addressing. Pretty heavy. And、uh, this handle, side holding, as you see, good twister sitting there. First、uh, wrinkle. And this reverse holding, spur. This palm swelling is very weak. No annoying on the palm. Very good. And this hunting holding, very good. However, a bit rounder than the other knives. I mean, not very stable in the hand. Because of this roundness、mm, and thickness from this、uh, side view, upside view. Please compare. Much thicker. Much thicker. Too thick for hunting. Not thick as <laughs> this、uh, genuine bushcraft knife.、Hmm. It's a good handle, I think. Better than this handle for bushcraft, I think. This palm swelling is very weak, and、uh, as you see, extended holding, no problem. It's a versatile bushcraft handle. Very good handle, in my opinion. However, for hunting, too thick and、uh, too heavy. Just a moment, I'll measure the weight. Client is、uh, under there, so in five minutes I finish. One fifty one grams, one ninety grams, two thirty four grams, two forty eight grams. 234, 248. Not 
a big difference between the two. However, this knife feels much heavier. It's because of, I think, balance here on the first finger. Much behind. Here. So, it feels heavier. And uh, very curvature. I directly compared with my A2 Bravo one. And this belly curvature, flat and relatively acute belly, was faster. This is a very good backstrap remover, I know it. Flat portion, and the belly is. Uh, this one shallow. Very similar. Just compare the belly line. Hmm. I think. Hmm. These two knives, pretty similar. It was good, and it was good too. A bit slower. Hmm. This is the deepest. Hmm. Really? It's a difficult program. I can't say which is the best. Anyhow, not a wrong curve at all. And a uh, strange edge, flat bevel and uh, pretty wide secondary V edge. All one steel. No problem at all. So, as a O1 steel, as O1, it's great steel. Mm, I don't know about heat treatment. However, as O1, it did perfectly. My other O1 knives always uh, took some edge problems after a de dressing but this O1 is great. Adventure Swarm. If it was wood handle, and uh, I prefer convex edge, he uh, gives us various uh, variations, thickness, grind, handle materials, and uh, maybe the steel is only O1, but this O1 is great. In total, it's a highly recommended knife, mm, maybe, mainly for bushcraft people, but for hunter, thinner stock, lighter material, handle. It's a great hunting knife. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.